guys, Arlene here. Welcome back to our channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I curl my hair with a straightener. So this is my natural blow dried hair. You wanna make sure that you got your favorite heat protectant, a hair clip, and a hair brush. I also use a hair elastic because my hair is extremely heavy and it helps me keep it up. This is the straightener I use. I have it on the hottest setting because my hair is super super thick um, but you also want to make sure that the straightener is not super chunky so the plates are a little bit thinner like mine. So I'm gonna start separating my hair into sections. I feel like when you're doing this if the layers are a little bit uneven it's completely fine uh, because it will look a little bit more natural and flowy. So I'm gonna start by spraying my hair first to protect it from the heat and I wanna make sure to concentrate on the ends because they're the driest. And then I'm gonna brush it out to make sure the product's evenly distributed. You'll also want to repeat this step for every layer that you apply heat to. So I'm gonna start with the left side of my hair first, um, distribute that into sections and if you have hair like me that's kind of curly, you want to make sure to straighten the roots first, that way the hair is not so puffy. And then what I do, I flip the straightener upside down and curl the hair away from my face. This gives you the illusion of having more volume. This also makes it look like wind is constantly blowing on your face. So after I do the first layer, what I like doing is I like splitting the rest of my hair in half. So I part it right in the middle and I work on one half of the hair at a time. So I'm gonna put one half up and work with one side of my hair only. It just makes things more easy for you because you're only curling your hair in one direction continuously so you don't get confused. If you have longer hair like me, you can twist the hair like I'm doing so here and that way it doesn't continuously fall off your head. After I twist it and put it on a bun, I secure it with a hair elastic so it doesn't move from there. And then I'm going to move on to the other side of my hair and I'm going to split it in equal sections. Like I said before, it doesn't really matter if the sections are super equal because this will give you a more natural look to your curls. Also, I know this is not the type of video we usually upload, but I do get asked all the time how I curl my hair and I do my friend's hair all the time, so I thought it'd be nice to share and upload a video like this. So here I'm going to be working on the right side of my head. So the right side's a little bit easier because you don't have to flip your straightener upside down. You kind of just twist it away from your face. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, and here I wanted to show you what happens if you don't curl your hair all the way to the end or if you take sections that are way too big. Uh, the curl is just not going to turn out as well. So here I'm going to go through it again. So straighten the top. And you're gonna twist away from your face or clockwise. So a few pointers, um, if you take bigger sections your curls are gonna be a lot more loose if you take smaller section, you're gonna get tighter curls. Um, I kinda go in between, I kinda try to alternate. If you have natural straight hair, what I'd recommend doing is when you're twisting the hair like so, just like that, you wanna do it one more time. This makes your curls a lot tighter. This prevents them from falling loose throughout the day. What you can also do is that when you're sliding the straightener down your hair, you can do it a little bit slower. You want to be paying attention to the temperature of the straightener because you don't want to do this for too long or else you will burn your hair off. 
here I am working on the top layer of my hair. I try to pay a little bit more attention to this since it's the most visible. It is also gonna be the layer that's gonna shape your face. So make sure to take your time with this section. And now we're gonna be working on the second half of the hair, uh, so it will be my left side or the right side of your screen. So we're gonna separate the sections and we're gonna straighten the root um, and then you're gonna twist the straightener away from your face but this time the straightener is gonna be facing upside down. So here we'll show it one more time so make sure your hair is straight at the root and then flip it upside down and curl it away from your face. This takes a lot of practice so please be patient and the more practice you get, the more often you do it, the easier it gets. I also like slightly twisting the hair so it keeps the curls stronger. And then we're gonna do the rest. I usually start curling three quarters of the way down or closer to halfway. The closer you curl to the root, the more volume you're gonna get. So if your hair is a little bit flatter, I recommend curling closer to the root. And here I'm just checking through the top layer to make sure that all the curls on the top layer are defined and they aren't kind of like just straight or wavy. And here is the final result. Lots of volume, lots of curls, but not super, super curly. Um, I don't really use hairspray, but if your hair is naturally more straight, I would recommend spraying a little bit of product. If you liked this video or if it was helpful to you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this or gaming videos. We'll see you in our next adventure. Bye!